Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the strip cut and the strip shuffle to combine them to create a top stock retention false shuffle routine. We're going to take a look at that right now. Now, a while ago I had a viewer leave me a comment telling me that uh, because I wasn't using B playing cards in my videos that uh, he was out. And honestly guys, I mean that just, it broke my heart. So today, um, we're gonna be using bicycle rider backs, okay? So a strip cut is essentially this. This is the strip cut. And you see this a lot in the casino shuffle. You see the second shuffle, the dealer on the second shuffle, we can pick the deck up and go like this, and this is the, the strip shuffle would be something more like this. That would be a strip shuffle, okay? Now, normally on the strip shuffle, once you finish the strip shuffle, then that's when you would then do a riffle shuffle, um, and you would control the top stock that way. Uh, a tutorial for that up here, if you haven't seen the video. So I'm not gonna go in depth in that, okay? So those are the two things that we are going to be uh, mimicking when we're doing the strip shuffle and the strip cut, okay? So let's find um, just one card, uh, maybe two. Okay, how about, all right, this will work. How about this? Um, we have, just for demonstration, we have king of clubs, queen of spades, and ace of spades, okay? So this is just for demonstration. So let's turn the, the uh, top card face up so you can see what's going on. So first, you would riffle, dropping the top stock first. Then after that, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna, using your hands to cover, you're gonna pick up the deck and run from the bottom. Okay, not from the top, from the bottom. Run about uh, a quarter and then start running from the bottom. Okay, very important when you're doing this, this circular motion, very important. So essentially what you're doing is that you're putting all the cards right back together in the same manner because you're running, you're running from the bottom. You're not running the cards from the top, you're running them from the bottom, okay? So on the strip shuffle, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take about half of the deck from the bottom and you're gonna slip it under and now you're gonna run these cards right here, like so, okay? I'm not gonna go a lot in depth into this because I made a tutorial about this a while ago. I'll link it up here. But then once you're here in this position, you are going to hold a break when you square up. You can see right here. If you see it from the back, I'm holding a break, okay? A thumb break from the back. So that's what I'm, I'm working with right here. Now, normally, this is when you would, when you will pull the bottom half out to riffle shuffle, but we're not gonna do that because I wanna show you a variation. So from here, you square up, and what you're gonna do is that you're gonna transfer from this thumb to this thumb, to your other thumb, and you're just gonna pick up at the thumb break. You're gonna left, let go with your left hand and pick up at the thumb break and go forward. So you're simulating a table cut, a one-handed table cut, and then you put this part back, and now you have retained the top stock that there's the three cards okay and you string all of that together into one movement so it's riffle strip cut riffle strip shuffle to then move to the cut and you string them all together and that is what's going to look deceptive okay okay and again this could be one card three cards five cards wouldn't recommend any more than five optimum three to four cards, that would be the optimum. So practice on that, it's a really cool technique. And what I like about it is that normally, and this is what you're normally going to see, is that people will do this. I mean, I see this all the time, this type of, of maneuver. And then from here, they're gonna go here, and then they're gonna false shuffle everything right back to the top. This is very common. I mean, I see this all the time, everybody does this. Um, not, not that that's bad. I mean, everybody does it because it's good and it looks good. Um, but if you want to do something a little bit different and kind of throw your audience off a little bit, then it's really nice when you come here and you do the strip shuffle. And then at the end of the strip shuffle, instead of breaking, instead of breaking for a 
uh, riffle shuffle from here you simply go here and go for the cut you go for the flat cut for the flat table cut and you're retaining your top stock and it's just something different you don't see that very often um, and I think that's the cool thing about this move you know is that you see everybody just doing the, the this and then riffle and then this and then riffle and you know now you're you're seeing this type of, of shuffle this um, strip shuffle but then at the end of the strip shuffle you don't go for a riffle you know you go for a cut so anyway that's gonna be it for today guys hope you enjoy this quick and easy tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell icon hit the like button it does help the channel out a lot and any questions uh, leave them down in the comments I'll catch you next week.